Welcome back to Elevation 44. It's your girl B, and I am back with another weekly astrology report because that's what we do here on Mondays, all right? So if you're new to this channel, welcome. I bring you these weekly astrology reports every week so that you know what energies are at play for the week and how you can utilize this energy, use it to your advantage, or maybe, you know, get around some things if things are not going to be, um, you know, very favorable. So like that is really what these um, reports are designed to do. They are reading the collective energy. It's not reading your individual energy. If you want to know more so how these transits affect you personally, you can always pull up a natal and transit chart. The link will be down in the description box for you if you want to look at that, okay? So let's just get right into it. We're going to dive right in. At the top of the week, Neptune has gone direct, okay? We talked a little bit about this last week. Um, and yeah, Neptune is direct, which means that a lot of the things that we were internally focused on during its retrograde, gaining inner clarity, finding truths, letting the illusions come down, we are now taking everything that we learned in that cycle and we are moving forward with it. Our intuition is now on, <laughs> on 10, it's being heightened, we've got a new perception, we've gotta be careful not to fall back into the illusions, but. Um, we are definitely, you know, on it, right? And with this, um, you know, Mercury, Mercury, Neptune turning direct during the same time that we're getting hit with, um, a, you know, a lunar eclipse in Gemini. So we're having a Gemini full moon. This is just kind of heightening not only our perception, it's giving us super clarity. It's helping us just really dive in to what's unseen, okay? So this is a time where our downloads are going to be real crazy and intensified and our dreams are going to be on level 1000. OK, so our dreams, you, could, you can be having a lot of activity happening in your dreams or just in visions in general. It doesn't necessarily have to be happening in your dream world. OK, so going into the lunar eclipse in Gemini, that's also at the top of the week, okay? Happening today on Monday, okay? So like I said, we have a full moon in Gemini. Um, the aspects that this full moon is making, it's making um, harmonious aspects to Chiron. That's really the focus, and Chiron is our emotional, um, not our emotional, but it is more of our deepest wounds, but with it combined with the lunar energy, it's definitely focused on the emotional womb side of things okay so this is a great energy for healing not only healing ourselves but for healing others as well okay we're focusing on the final release of our karmic baggage as we enter this new age this new era that's about to kick off okay so that is really what this moon is helping us or this full moon is going to be helping us do it's also um helping us dive deeper or really kick off because during the summer we had the first um lunar do we have a lunar eclipse or solar eclipse i can't remember but we had an eclipse in the new series or the new cycle of the gemini and sagittarius that kind of kicked off the new cycle of the gem sagittarius and gemini eclipse seasons okay so this cycle is all going to be focused on the higher and lower mind it's all going to be focused on knowledge and information and how we share information it's really going to be quite different than the eclipse seasons that we've been having prior to this which have been focused around cancer and capricorn which was all about the home and work-life balance now this is going right into information of the higher and lower mind and how we relate to each other and how we share information and how we communicate. So this is going to be much different, but it's going to be necessary, especially as we are entering this new age, the age of Aquarius. It's about to kick off here shortly. Okay, so this is all about 
the exchange of new ideas, like I said, fresh new perspectives as we build the new order because things are going to look much different than they have looked in the past. Okay, and it's exciting. It's kind of nerve wracking because we don't know it's the unknown, but it's exciting all at the same time, because even though we don't know what's coming and we know it's going to be uncomfortable getting there like we're gonna to have to go through some hard times to get there just just a general like a little excitement that you feel knowing that you know at the end it's going to be better than where you know you came from anyway that kind of just might be my perspective but What's um, supporting this energy as well is this week, Mercury is also moving into the sign of Sagittarius. So it's moving out of Scorpio, which was that deep, investigative, let's get to the bottom of this truth energy. Like, let's bring all this muck up to the surface, which also helped us with our healing. Okay, so you can see the timing of how all of this is happening with the moon, the full moon in Gemini, you know, Chiron and mercury it's like it's actually beautiful if you see how all of this is working together harmoniously but that mercury in scorpio definitely helped with our healing because it just took us down 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 into the depths to help bring things up right and to help us communicate those things and now with it moving into sagittarius again anytime you move out that scorpio energy you're definitely going to feel that shift we're going to definitely be focused on the future um, our sights are going to be ahead because what we learned while we pulled up that muck during, um, you know, Mercury being in Scorpio, we're now going to now apply as we move into the Sagittarius energy. So futuristic thinking, we're going to have our eyes set on the future. We're going to be optimi optimistic. It's all about learning and growing with this energy. We're focused on the big picture. This is a big expansion picture like how can we apply this to the collective? How can we make this all better, right? So this is all about, to the truth. Because, again, that Sagittarius energy is really truth-telling. It's about, you know, the truth. It's about honesty. It's about, you know, being blunt no matter how hard it is to be blunt. It's like, okay, well, this is all I discovered while I was in Scorpio. And bam, here it is. I'm speaking my truth. I'm laying it all out there. And that's that's that deal with it right um so this is definitely big picture perspective this is definitely more of a lighter energy more of a hopeful energy more of just more of excitement right and just kind of moving forward okay then also mercury will be sextiling saturn which is in capricorn and this is a harmonious aspect and this is going to give us clarity and clear thinking this is also a great time for planting seeds like i i have an entire um video on the uh gemini full moon <laughs> eclipse okay i had to think about it for a second which i talked about a little bit in that uh video how your your words and your thoughts during this time are going to be extremely fertile okay this transit is also supporting that this is a great time to plant new seeds especially around business dealings especially around um anything that you want to have come to fruition contract wise business wise anything like that so this is a great time to um, plant those seeds the right way be careful of your thoughts be careful of your words because whatever you're thinking whatever you're saying there's during this time will come to fruition good or bad okay so that's just kind of the energy that is at play so the herb that i would recommend oh, actually two herbs that i would recommend you working with this week are peppermint because that's just i'm all about that mental stimulation and just getting us Woo, all right, <laughs> getting up and going and just kind of getting our juices flowing mentally. And then also sage because of its healing um, and cleansing properties, especially with everything that's going to be going on with that full moon. The crystal that I would recommend you working with this week, this week, working with this week. My gosh, what is wrong with me? <laughs> it's Moonstone, okay? And Moonstone actually is one of those crystals that can be worked with um, throughout any lunar cycle, but it's just great for helping us tap in to that intuition, especially, um, again, with that Gemini full moon, but also with Neptune 
going direct um it's just going to lend itself to helping us like dive into and giving us that perspective that we need and just helping us focus where we need to focus okay so that is all that i have for this week i know it's a really short report but if you can go check out the gemini full moon video if you have not seen that already so you can get more information on how to work with that energy in particular uh let me know in the comments down below what else you're looking forward to this week and I actually have some more stuff coming your way okay like i promise so stay tuned for that and i will see you all in the next video peace